Aloha everyone! I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixie Bell Paint. In this tutorial we will be working on this simple office cabinet and we will be transforming it into a military glam piece, really textured and um, we will be using a few stunning Dixie Bell colors. So stay with us if you want to see how we did it step by step. Let's do it! I started prepping this cabinet by cleaning it with white lightening Dixie Bell furniture cleaner. After scrubbing all the dirt, I rinsed the piece twice, only with water to make sure there are no more residues. Once the piece has dried, I applied two coats of adhesion primer slick stick and then I waited 24 hours for it to cure prior to painting. Then I prepared a mixture of paint using colored greens and adding a texture additive called sea spray until we got a thick consistency. I used a chip brush and I started to dab the texture all over the piece, going really well in all the corners, on the handles, trying to reach all the spots. Before applying the second coat of paint, we left the piece to cure for a few good hours and then I started to apply again colored greens. In some spots I added more, some spots I left unpainted where I want the next color to pop more. Anyway, our next color is Holy Guacamole. It uh, works so good combined with color greens, really army colors. I blended them together by dabbing it and then I added more collard, then more Holy Guacamole and so on until they were blended nicely and I was happy with how it looks. I added a bit of evergreen to have more color variation and it's really what this blend needed at this point to finish this look Under the handles I wanted the color that would pop so I used mermaid tail to create some drips, lots of water and also a little rug so I stop the paint from dripping. It looks absolutely amazing over this army blend. Also on the handles and those etiquette spaces we wanted um, to apply a Dixie Shining Cooper, but first we need to apply the glue, leave it 15 minutes and then use the Cooper sheets. It will be a dream. It's time for Dixie Shine to be applied and we'll just um, rub these sheets on the places we already applied the glue and it's so subtle and matching with this piece so well. Once everything was done, I sealed it three times with flat clear coat, letting each one to dry for about two hours. And this is the final result! Thank you so so much for watching and hope to see you soon in our next furniture tutorial. Bye!